Greetings, this is Vladril and welcome back to Let's Play Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Alright, where we are in Dandelion's brothel which has in better days. Let's speak with Zoltan. Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers made a hold something off for Ponin. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A oh. Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah, guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, <laughs> examines it from all perspectives. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh, truly perverse. He did a kind of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. <laughs> Poor bastard fled out the window. <laughs> Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. My medallion like vibrating. Rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf, never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs, what Rosa Var Atre deemed her guhir, well chosen, eh? All right, but Var Atra. Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador? He is. You know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you've a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we Rosa preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? More than one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire her next victim. I mean, instructor. Interesting. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. I haven't been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty's like a young Beauclair wine, whereas I prefer vodka straight up. All right, then. Well, you know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. Let's look around. Before we leave... <laughs> and loot, of course. And forget the loot. This place has potential. Kinda, uh, you know... Well, hobo-like. I guess, right now, but it does have potential. stuff to loot is this oh 
Sure. Let's uh, turn fire on. I just solder, that's it. Anything else? Dead rats. Starming. Gwen deck. Okay. I need to play some Gwen. As well, Gwent. And it goes even higher. Wow, okay. Nothing here though. Okay. Herald in the fires. Alright, let's go. Let's find some of these women, I guess. Err, uh, that way. Let's follow the markers. What was it happened to Faltus again? Uh, are they out? Yes, they are. Well, they're not out, but they are. Hmm. Can I get there from here? Maybe. Get some of that. Yes, you can. Awesome. This is the best city I've seen in a game, by the way, easily. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Oh. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close well, enough. Keep out of this head, not your concern. They may come back for here if I don't pay them. Can also kill them, of course. So let's pay. Take his coin and leave. Dine out works. Vespula's to pay or be taught a lesson. Already given her a verbal reprimand. Now go before I teach you a lesson. Come on. Gold's gold. People look weird. Thank you. Oh, thank you. To think there are men will help a stranger out of the kindness of Yeah, their about hearts. that. Not entirely out of kindness, and you're not entirely a stranger. What are you? Oh, I know you. You're that witcher took Dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? <laughs> Gerald. <laughs> oh. <laughs> not Gerald. Geralt. Oh, dreadful sorry. Explain something if you don't mind. You say I took Dandelion out whoring. So he said. Claimed I was his one and only. But he fell in with the wrong folk. You and that dwarf who always looks like a cow licked him. Wow. Said you two were a bad example. Wine, women. Well, <laughs> so, he picked that habit up from us too. Gotta have a word with him. That's funny. What do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring, that horse pheasant, that lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. To hmm. the last straw. All was those that silly? questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. 
but what did he ask about exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Mm. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. You hide Siri, maybe? This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced <laughs> snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. She has his charms, apparently. All will be fine. In the free city of Novograd. Wolf. Is it down? Yes. You could make yourself useful. Hmm. Interesting. Welcome, welcome. Do I'm a friend of Dandelions. Looking for help. I didn't mean to interrupt him. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, down your socks. You, Eliel? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, <laughs> I thought. Thought Eliel was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Oh, so it's that. Wait here. Uh. <laughs> Any better? <laughs> so you are. Oh my god. Did you and Dandelion? <laughs> How did you two meet? This fantastic. I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. <laughs> Morbid curiosity. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. That goes... Wow, okay. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Hmm. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although mm, nice. Indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him. No, fuck. Burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. <laughs> oh, come on, man. This is bullshit, fucking Radovitz. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a dockside thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? 
Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. Thanks right. for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. All right, is that guy actually a soap? I think he is. Greetings. Let's see. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Oh, well, please, I'm going to. If anything awesome. chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. I'm guessing he has, uh, yeah, uh, official clothes, I guess. Wolf mask. That's nice. You know what? I will buy that. I think I may need to wear some of these things at some point. Maybe for the quest, we'll see. Does he buy anything? Uh, he buys these things. Uh, Mm, yeah, I don't want to sell anything else. Alright, let's play some wind. Sure, the money what doesn't matter. A few rounds of cards. But the cards that you get is uh, important. When you want to build a deck anyway. Alrighty, let's do this. And he plays with the same deck. Cool. Let's see. Uh... Oh, that's a nice card. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, that's okay. What does he have? Is that the weather one? Uh, clear any weather cards. Okay. Let's start with that. Oh. Badro. Ah, oh, that's all took my card. Let me get rid of this. Alright, now we'll pass. Ah, that... That asshole. Nice, well played, okay. Yeah, sure. I forgot the special abilities this card had. That's bullshit. Okay. Can I see it? What? Okay. Let's put on you. It's making me use a lot of cards. Okay. This goes no use that one. That should still give me a head. Yes, by one. 
There we go. I knew you would do that. And I'll use here to get the roads. Ah, you can't get roads. Why? I'm not sure. Okay. I need to check it out again. Maybe it's only for non-special cards. Eight. Wow. Okay. Let me... Aha. No heroes or special cards. Yep. Okay. I wish I had one of those, but I don't. And I don't have any rain either. This is gonna be tricky. I have no issues with that. He may win actually. We'll see. Depends what he has. I wish I had some rain. Why the hell did he do that? Weird. Okay. Does he only have uh, weather cards? Let's hope he doesn't have any more, and we'll see, I guess. Still, he probably win. He has three cards and I have none. Yeah, I'm screwed. Okay. Good job on his part. <laughs> Alright, let me end this episode here and I'll try winning at this on the next episode. Thank you for watching, subscribe, like, leave a comment and I will see you next time.